O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. O Lord God of my salvation, I have cried day and night before thee. O let my prayer enter into thy presence, incline thine ear unto my calling. For my soul is full of trouble, and my life draweth nigh unto hell. I am counted as one of them that go down into the pit, and I have been even as a man that hath no strength. Free among the dead, like unto them that are wounded and lie in the grave who are out of remembrance, and are cut away from thy hand. Thou hast laid me in the lowest pit, in a place of darkness, and in the deep. Thine indication lieth hard upon me, and thou hast vexed me with all thy storms. Thou hast put away mine acquaintance far from me, and made me to be abhorred of them. I am so fast in prison that I cannot get forth. My sight faileth for very trouble. Lord, I have called daily upon thee. I have stretched forth my hands unto thee. Dost thou show wonders among the dead? Or shall the dead rise up again and praise thee? Shall thy loving kindness be showed in the grave? Or thy faithfulness in destruction? Shall thy wondrous works be known in the dark? And thy righteousness in the land where all things are forgotten? Unto thee have I cried, O Lord, and early shall my prayer come before thee. Lord, why abhorrest thou my soul, and hidest thou thy face from me? I am in misery, and like unto him that is at the point to die. Even from my youth up thy terrors have I suffered with a troubled mind. Thy wrathful displeasure goeth over me, and the fear of thee hath undone me. They came round about me daily like water, and compassed me together on every side. My lovers and friends hast thou put away from me, and hid mine acquaintance out of my sight. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first lesson is taken from the book of Genesis, chapter 7, beginning to read at verse 11. In the six hundredth year of Noah's life, in the second month, on the seventeenth day of the month, on that day all the fountains of the great deep burst forth, and the windows of the heavens were opened. The rain fell on the earth for forty days and forty nights. On the very same day, Noah with his sons, Shem and Ham and Japheth, and Noah's wife and the three wives of his sons, entered the ark, they and every wild animal of every kind, and all domestic animals of every kind, and every creeping thing that creeps on the earth, and every bird of every kind, every bird, every winged creature. They went into the ark with Noah, two and two of all flesh in which there was the breath of life. And those that entered, male and female of all flesh, went in as God had commanded him, and the Lord shut him in. The flood continued for forty days on the earth, and the waters increased and bore up the ark, and it rose high above the earth. The waters swelled and increased greatly on the earth, and the ark floated on the face of the waters. The water swelled so mightily on the earth that all the high mountains under the whole heaven were covered. The water swelled above the mountains, covering them fifteen cubits deep. And all flesh died that moved on the earth, birds, domestic animals, wild animals, all swarming creatures that swarm on the earth, and all human beings. 
everything on dry land in whose nostrils was the breath of life, died. He blotted out every living thing that was on the face of the ground, human beings and animals and creeping things and birds of the air. They were blotted out from the earth. Only Noah was left, and those that were with him in the ark. And the water swelled on the earth for one hundred and fifty days. Here ends the first lesson. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath hope in his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The second lesson is taken from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 24, beginning to read at verse 15. So when you see the desolating sacrilege standing in the holy place, as was spoken of by the prophet Daniel, let the reader understand, then those in Judea must flee to the mountains. Someone on the housetop must not go down to take what is in the house. Someone in the field must not turn back to get a coat. Woe to those who are pregnant and to those who are nursing infants in those days. Pray that your flight may not be in winter or on a Sabbath, for at that time there will be great suffering, such as not been from the beginning of the world until now, no, and never will be. And if those days had not been cut short, no one would be saved. <clears throat> but for the sake of the elect, those days will be cut short. Then if anyone says to you, Look, here is the Messiah, or there he is, do not believe it. For false messiahs and false prophets will appear and produce great signs and omens to lead astray, if possible, even the elect. Take note, I have told you beforehand. So if they say to you, Look, he is in the wilderness, do not go out. If they say, Look, he is in the inner rooms. Do not believe it. For as the lightning comes from the east and flashes as far as the west, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. Wherever the corpse is, there the vultures will gather. Here ends the second lesson. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. 
I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. Almighty and everlasting God, who dost govern all things in heaven and earth, mercifully hear the supplications of thy people, and grant us thy peace all the days of our life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray this evening for all those who are affected by COVID throughout the world. For overburdened health systems, for people who work within them, exhausted as they try to care for the sick. For all who are unwell, in body, mind or spirit. For those affected economically, for everyone who does not have the basics of life for people with responsibility for making decisions at national, international or local level. Watch, O Lord, with those who wake or watch or weep tonight, and give your angels and saints charge over those who sleep. Tend your sick ones, O Lord Christ, Rest your weary ones, bless your dying ones, soothe your suffering ones, pity your afflicted ones, shield your joyous ones, and all for your love's sake. Amen. O God, the protector of all who trust in you, without whom nothing is strong, nothing is holy. Increase and multiply upon us your mercy, that with you as our ruler and guide, we may so pass through things temporal, that we lose not the things eternal. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God 
and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen.